afternoon, everybody. I'm uh, milling around upstairs, minding my own business. Um, it's May 2020, and my wife says, there's water on the floor. Oh, okay, where? Next to the blue thing. Okay, so I come downstairs, and that's, that's the water. Okay, no big deal. So I follow the water. Up, up, I've since cleaned it. And it looks like that's leaking. That is a automatic air valve. They go bad from time to time. Um, it's not leaking from here. It's hard to put my hand in here. It's not leaking from here. It's not leaking from here. It's leaking from here. So now I tried, I put a, um, a wrench, an adjustable wrench on the bottom. I put in rigid um, crescent wrench, I believe on the top and I've tightened it and water still kind of leaks. I went on to Facebook, excuse me, YouTube. There was one video of someone saying that the tacos or tacos actually unscrew. So what I was going to do is actually just unscrew this whole thing and that's that. But you have to be careful. Every single video showing me that you have to do pressure so I relieved it already the bottom is pressure it was at 15 and I again the boiler is off so for for also I don't know how the system works I stopped all the valves from draining down I don't think that means anything but when I put my hand around here, there's no more water because there's no more pressure. So what I'm going to do is that I relieved, I have a hose. Not a lot of water came out, it just relieved the pressure. Whatever. So what we're going to do is maybe take this apart. Let me see if I can unscrew it without it pissing. There's no pressure, but you got to be careful. It might. Okay. It is pissing. I want to get a rag. It might piss a little bit. I also left the valve down there open. That's supposed to be the valve for the boiler. The other one's the gas. So. There's no reason to drain the system, so let's see if it just has a little bit of piss in it. Okay. There was just a little bit in it, so you do need some sort of rag. And then, okay, so it's pressurized. FYI, it's pressurized. And it was just nothing crazy. So we'll just clean it off. I'll clean it off camera. So after it's been cleaned, if you're satisfi satisfied, see, there's no water in here. So if you're satisfied, put it back. Just find a happy medium with the threads and just hand tighten it. And, uh, Now, if you want, you can put a wrench on the bottom. So what you do is you find a place like this, open it up, tighten it. Now it's going to hit here. It's going to hit here. Can you see that? Yeah. 
So then, then what you want to do is utilize this leverage and just snug it because now it's on the base of the boiler where now you could twist it. So now what you want to do is reapply water back into the, the, the system. So we're going to turn the main water back on. It filled it right away. It's pressurized. I'll show you. Actually, it's not big because it's all sealed. You might have saw that happen. It went straight back to um, 15. I'll turn all the zones on. Nope, it's leaking. Ha! Ah, oh, boy. No, I gotta get a new one. Now it's really pissing. Mm, damn it, I'll show you. Yep, see that? So it's basically the same thing. Is you shut the water off to the boiler, you, sh you go down to the bottom, you relieve the pressure, pressure goes to zero, and I got to take that off and replace it. So we're going to go to Home Depot and see uh, if I could buy a new one. From Home Depot, I got a brand new one. guys want to figure out what it is that's what it is same exact one valve I teflon it off teflon off camera tightening it because yeah. it's tapered the rest you saw already so you shut off the valve on the bottom and you put pressure back into the system slowly kind of that's about it <laughs> you could turn it on pressurize 15 we go with the uh, top number so it's just before 20 and that first line is 10 so that's going to be 15 I think this is it the final test would be to turn on a zone and see if the air in the system um, does anything. So that's it. Hit like, hit sub subscribe. Yeah, this is warm. This is definitely. And uh, thanks for watching. Another win for the homeowner. $18 and just some time. Ciao for now.